keeps happening, I'm just going to start stealing shit right in front of these people. They're not going to do a goddamn thing about it. <laughs> like, what are we doing here, dude? Like, what are we talking about? I'm going to start just shoving shit in my pockets and leaving. I don't even have to interact with you, and I'm never going to be back at this fucking, uh, Lexington or since wherever the fuck I was gas station. I'm just going to start robbing these motherfuckers. You're going to force <clears throat> Klepto Mike to return, and Mike took so yeah. long to get rid of him. Bingo. All right. Episode 109 of the Fair Enough Podcast. It is, we are balls deep into the tournament. Uh, I realized that every single uh, Cinderella that I wrote down, our five Cinderellas, dead. Lost. Dead and yep. gone. All of yes, them. Sir. And it busted a lot of brackets, so I don't feel that bad about it because I feel like everybody had fucking New Mexico going deep. McNeese State. Yeah, uh, I bet I'm all those. Samford lost Didn't that first game Samford. to Kansas. Is New Mexico who you had, Bob? Is that the one I voted at the end to win it all? You did. New Mexico was the Globetrotters who you voted to win gotcha. it all. Gotcha. They ended all up right, not. Well, it was a good fight. They did not win at all. They lost. <laughs> and they, they didn't lost even have it all. A chance. It was bad. No. They were down twenty and stayed down twenty the yep. whole fucking game. <laughs> not even a game, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a shame. Um, oh, yeah. Well, we're not doing bracket stuff today because we're already fucked. We every stat. I mean, the stats that I gave you are still true, especially those that the teams that can win it. Most of them are still in, but. Mm. Uh, 109, Gordy Howe. Javi Baez. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> was, I don't even know if he's number nine with the, with the Tigs, to be honest. With you. He's nine with the, with the Cubs, though. You can't see his jersey number because the guy's too busy fucking whiffing at pitches. You never get a good yeah. shot of it, you know? It's bad. It's real he's, bad. Dude, he's the worst baseball player in the league, I think. Well, last year, I believe... He was like statistically maybe the second worst offensive player in the league or something. Like he was like the worst player with enough ABs in the league. I mean, it's going to turn into pretty quickly a full on Bobby Bonilla situation where we're just like, we're going to be like, dude, we can't pay you anymore, but nobody else is going to want you on their team. So we're just going to pay you until 2045. Yeah. In I small increments. <laughs> yeah. He's bad. It makes me laugh. I told you, but whatever. Uh, any more nines? Oh, Matt Stafford. <laughs> yeah, Duh. I was say Stafford. Duh, number nine. Uh, ah, um, Basketball nines? Rajon? Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan in the Olympics. He was nine in the Olympics? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. No love Look, for the Rajon pick? I do like the Rajon pick. Did you see <laughs> Rajon and DeMarcus Cousins talking shit about Kentucky basketball? And, no. And Rajon was pretty much... It was like on a radio. It was like on a radio show, and Rajon was pretty much like Calipari stinks. He's had one championship, and Demarcus was like defending him, like this guy is built an elite like level basketball culture and blah blah blah. And Rajon's like, "How many chips you got? You got one. You got one chip." And he's like, pretty much, it was kind of well, heated. One, I like it was funny. and like <clears throat> Jack could have coached that team, and they would have won the the Natty that year. Like yeah. that team that they had was fucking ridiculous. No, you know? yeah, fair enough. Uh, it, I'm just, it was just funny to see two Kentucky players just, to, like, polarizing thoughts. Like, I was like, yeah. oh, shit. Uh, you forget Rondo went there. What a what a yeah. jersey that would be, a Rondo Kentucky jersey. Speaking of went there, imagine being in Lexington while at all the bars while they're about to lose the game. Talk about taking the wind out of the sails of a night. I mean, I didn't give a shit. But holy fuck. Oh, you were there this weekend? Yeah. Oh, let's get into that. So you were there I, while they were the, sh the ship was sinking. Yes. Yes, we were there while the ship was sinking. Like, at first, like, we were, like, at one bar that was, like, kind of not a college bar. Like, there was Kentucky fans, but it wasn't, like, a, where there was a bunch of students there. Mm -hmm. And then when we got out, Excuse me. For the Kentucky game, we were at more of a bar that had like more actual like fans and students and stuff. And like you, you know, I've been in Detroit bars and stuff, or I've been in the stadium when Detroit's lost. Remember that Thanksgiving game against the Bears well, that we went to, and like you just feel the whole world. 
But that was a, a regular season Thanksgiving game against the Bears. This was the fucking first round of the goddamn March Madness for one of the better, like, you know, higher level teams. And just the sadness of everybody and like the confusion. Right. It's, uh, it's it was it was kind of it was a sight to see, a sight to behold, if you will. But uh, overall, just kind of like I feel like it would have been better if they just won. <laughs> right. Oh, 100 percent. Well, it would, the party would have been way better, especially the yeah. way that they lost where it was just oh, yeah. one kid just banging threes in your eyes and there's nothing that you yeah. can do about it. Those ones yeah. that he was taking where he was literally like jumping Creeps. completely to his left or jumping yeah. completely to his right, like falling out of bounds, like everything was going in. Yeah. Wild. Did Shout you out know, to Golke. Go did Oakland you see U. the stat on that kid? This whole season, he's only attempted eight two-point field goals. Attempted? That's crazy. Made more threes in one night than he's attempted twos the entire season. Crazy. That's just crazy. a fucking dope stat. Talk about, Bro, like... The, the ten threes on four dribbles or whatever is also an insane stat. Oh, yeah. Was yeah, that dude, one that of the stats? A, it was just yeah. section yeah. fucking fade? Wow. <laughs> Talk about putting zero effort in. Just catching the ball and shooting. And now he's worldwide. He's worldwide. Oh, dude, he went. Yeah, what do you from- guys think about the – there's like a huge debate on whether or not he would have any success at all in the NBA as a shooter. And I know absolutely fucking nothing about that, but is that a valid argument to have? I think so. I think if you can, if you can, if you could rip like that, then there's always a spot for you. You got to be able to move, you know, you got to be able to move and understand defenses and move around them to get open. Cause he's not, obviously it's catch and shoot only. So it's like, you got to be running baseline over screens, this, that, and the other thing. Like and the problem is get off of it. Like this experiment has been done before with better players. Like Jimmer for yeah. didn't do shit in the league. Yeah. He was the most electric three point shooter in college basketball history. Like, yeah, literally. I mean, yeah. I mean, even like Doug McDermott, he had, a, yep. you know, he, another guy, everyone wants to be Kyle Corver. Not many people can be Kyle Corver, you know, everyone wants <laughs> to be Ray Allen. Not many people can be Ray Allen. So. It's yeah. definitely tough when you got a fucking goofy white boy. He probably doesn't move very well either. So I doubt, I mean, he'd, he'd be a good G leaguer for the next five to seven years and just fucking be a coach at Oakland after the fact. Yep. Make his few hundred thousand every season and ride it oh, until it, the wheels fall off. Yeah. For sure. Dude, he went, yeah, he went from like 500 followers on Instagram to like 20,000 plus in one night. Yeah. I mean, literally. It's crazy that that's a school in my city where I live as well. Dude, it's right down the road. Yeah, it's right down down the the road. road I could go say what up to the goal. Yeah, you're you're basically an Oakland alum. Yeah. (laughs) Bro, my buddy Kareem at work, shout out Kareem, um, went to OU and he's been talking shit to fucking everybody all week, but he didn't even graduate from there. Like he left the school and he's still been like acting like an alum all week. That's not the same Oakland, is it? Yeah. That's our Oakland. That's yeah. the Oakland. that was just in the tournament. Yeah. Grizzlies. Yeah. I thought that, Oh shit. I didn't know that was the, Oh, okay. I did not know that. That's they fucking... kept saying that on the broadcast too. They were like, now everybody's going to know that this Oakland is not in California. Yeah. That's hilarious because I didn't know that because I was at a bar and the sound, I wasn't paying attention to the fucking sound. Right. You know. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, dude. Rochester, Michigan. Literally where Jack lives. <laughs> that's hilarious. I love that. Um, That's sick. So you had a good time, though? Yeah, dude. And you know what? And I, I'm not on here advocating drugs. And also, excuse my voice here because... <clears throat> I, I can barely speak, but I'm I'm really just <clears throat> trying to muscle through it. My throat is killing me. Um, Crazy thing to pause on. <laughs> I was like, I was like so, let's advocate some drugs. Let's get into it. So I I literally I I went to Kentucky with no drugs, okay? No drugs. And I just th- thoughts of booze here. Mm-hmm. I came home, didn't even bring any booze. I came home with Pretty much a half ounce of mushrooms, giant bag of mushrooms, a chocolate mushroom chocolate bar. Fucking, I had f- free Adderall for the weekend, and I Damn. got a bottle of Kentucky bourbon that I actually bought for Drew. 
um because why not uh but like i i Shut left there's there's not a there's no and i mean he's our guy i fucking you know <laughs> he's a big bourbon guy whatever um, he's gonna love it but yeah i know i already told him he's like dude I don't think I've ever had anyone do something like that for me. I was like, well, fucking you're welcome. <laughs> well, you got you to uh, drive to Chicago to get it, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but uh, I don't think I've ever gone somewhere with nothing and left with everything in my entire life. Usually mm. it's like the complete opposite. You bring everything and you come home and you're like, I spent a shitload of money. I have nothing left. I'm super hungover. And it's like, I'm not. <laughs> and now you, yeah, you've, so did you have like a dealer there that you, ended no, up, you found a guy? No. And I, they're just people that are, were in my circle there were like here. And I, and I don't want to look at the mustache on this guy. He definitely does yeah. shrooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and, and dude, they were I, right. It's so funny. Cause like, I didn't even do, shrooms the first I, I did them the saturday night like towards the end of the night it was a good time tried playing rummy like the card game and i probably rummied like 17 times because i <laughs> i would just look at my cards drop a card look up die that la- was bad dude it was you just bad. weren't having it <laughs> no i was not having it. and i was talking mad shit because the night previous we were playing 1v1v1 again me and my sister and uh, our boyfriend and um he beat us in the last hand and I was like, I'm going to get you tonight. I didn't get him that night. I was not making him at night. I was not making him at night. I was not making him at night. It was a great time though. That's good. I got to make it down there to Lexington with you one of these times. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a sweet little, I mean, it's like you, you, I mean, at least for, for me, it's like when I'm thinking of like, even Detroit is big dude. Like, you think of like these towns and you're like, man, there's so much you're going to like, see. it's like, no dude, everything is right there. It's all compact as fuck. It's like, yeah. you can, if once you walk into like one little area, it's like, okay, you have it all right near you. So you can either pop into a two minute Uber or you can take a 10 minute walk. And like, it's so hard to do that in like our cities. Like you expect so much like, Oh, Hey, there's a 20 minute Uber ride or Hey, this, like we can only go to these bars. It's like, no, you can go everywhere in Lexington without you know pretty much easily you know Mm -hmm. i've always wanted to go to uh their basketball rupp arena and see again i'm pretty sure jack you might have to fact check me on this but i'm pretty sure rupp arena seats like thirty thousand people pretty sure it's one of like the biggest indoor arenas as far as like just a basketball three thousand five hundred yeah, that's it. That's bigger than every yeah. NBA arena, every NHL arena. <laughs> like, that's it's, fucking you, crazy. You drive by it and you're like, God damn, there was something going on there this weekend. I don't know what it was because we drove by it the one day and the traffic was brutal and you saw people walking to it. And I was like, damn. So I wonder if it was a concert or something, but it, it mm. definitely is fucking huge, man. Um, dude, what? dude. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know you said Rupp Arena. I thought you said Rupp Arena. So I Googled (laughs) Rupp Arena, like (laughs) R-U-P-E-R-I-N-A. It still was correct, but I thought you, uh, I didn't know that's what it was called. That sounds like a delicious uh, dish that you could order at Olive Garden. I know. Speaking of a delicious dish, we went to a play on the way there in Cincinnati called the Tickle Pickle. Mm. And uh, if you ever ride through fucking Cincinnati, go there. It's a little burger joint, man. Shout out uh, to the Tickle Pickle. All of the shit on the walls are named after, uh, like, music. So, like, I got uh, a Pearl Jam, and it was, like, a burger with, like, a jalapeno jam and shit on it. My Mm. cousin got a Red Hot Chili Peppers. It was, like, a jalapeno. But they had a bunch of cool shit like uh the buns and roses and like all these other these cool stupid fucking play on words names it was cool that's sick yeah i think there was a guy that was in love with me there he asked me about my shirt i had like that barstool that chicago flag uh barstool sweater yeah and uh he was like staring at me and i'm like all right this fucking weirdo He's like an older gentleman probably like 55 60 he's like what's that flag and i was like it's chicago He's just like, oh, I've never seen that before. And he's just like, we don't got a flag. And then he's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Since that he has a flag. And I'm like, all right, creep. And he's like, can I take a photo of it? And he gets his phone, 
like in my i'm like on my chest i'm like dude this is so awkward bro like what in the fuck so, then I, I think it's over i'm like all right this guy's a creep then he looks at my hat i got this um that toronto blue jays hat that has like the tie-dye logo on it yeah and he's just like what kind of hat's that no, <laughs> I'm like, God, you're like, like what <laughs> he's like is that, that a toronto blue jays hat or what i'm like yeah, he's like, you're from there? I'm like, no, I just told you I was from Chicago, dude. Like, what are you? He's just like, oh, why do you got the hat? Like, what kind of question is that? Because yeah, I like it, dude. Like, I'm like, like, you want to see my, what kind of thong I'm wearing? Like, what the fuck yeah, is going on here? That's what I was, I was like, you want to know my credit score? Like, what are we doing <laughs> here, bro? Like, what the fuck? Interesting people in Ohio, bro. That's what you're going to get. Even dude, in I'm Cincy, driving, right on the border. Yes, I'm driving all the way through Ohio tomorrow. Jack is preparing for a road. We all have just different weird shit going on. Jack's preparing for the roadie. I got my teeth getting yanked out of my head tomorrow. Um, sad. I'm very sad. I mean, I'm not. I'm not psyched about it. Anything with a needle is, you know, not exciting to me. And they're gonna have to put the IV in my arm while I'm still awake. Knock me out for that. I don't want to have any part of that. <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> like uh... they should. I guess, I guess they should. Why don't they? Do you think that your like blood gets weird when they knock you out or something, so they can't? There's got to be something behind it, uh, otherwise they'd be doing it. I would think. But <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the special request in, and I'll let you guys know if it happens or not. Fuck yeah! Um, put, knock me out before you put this IV in. Can't yeah. do it. What are the odds? Punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're taking all these out anyway. So I have. Six teeth getting removed, four wisdom and two molars. And I have to be on a very strict, soft diet for four weeks after. And I want you to give me a little fuck, marry, kill situation here. Right. We're going to go some of the soft foods that I can eat. We're going to fuck, marry, kill. You ready? All right. <clears throat> fuck. Yogurt, oatmeal, applesauce. Jack, you want to take the lead? Yeah, um... Yogurt, oatmeal, applesauce. Fuck, Mary kill. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Fuck yogurt, marry oatmeal, kill applesauce. I'm kind of in the same boat. I would actually... Fuck you... Or I'd fuck oatmeal, marry yogurt, kill applesauce. I just feel like I'm going to get sick of yogurt before I'm going to get sick of oatmeal. That was my only justification between the marrying. I don't disagree with that, but I also think that the, that just oatmeal in general, is just like, I dude, it's I good. You got to get the fucking peaches yeah, not, and cream or you're doing it wrong. Yeah, see, I'm not like a giant oatmeal guy, but I'm definitely a, not an applesauce guy at all. So, well, I'm glad we all agree that applesauce is gross because I'm killing applesauce every time too. I didn't buy any of yeah. it. I I just bought the yogurt and the oatmeal. Um, yeah. But I'm I'm in the same boat as Jack. I am going to fuck yogurt, marry oatmeal, kill applesauce. It it is the variety with the oatmeal. You're absolutely right. What do you and mean? I, you get a hundred different types of yogurt. Yeah, but they all yeah, end up tasting the same at yeah. the end of the day, <laughs> yeah. dude. They yeah. really do. Well, I don't Bob, I'm put... surprised you like yogurt. That seems like something you'd hate for Me? some reason. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a sour cream guy. I don't know. That's that yogurt. Really... <laughs> no, yeah, not. but we're talking Blue like, splash. you're talking like Greek yogurt. That. He's talking like fucking yogurt yogurt. No, right? I, eat, I I'm talking Chobani. Oh, okay. Wow. I'm a, you're classy, like... I'm a classy broad. <laughs> why don't you why don't you do a little oats, not oatmeal, but oats? In the yogurt, make yourself a little parfait. I oh, actually dude. do that every day. That's my that's my breakfast every day. Is ain't no I have that ain't no parfait. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have oats at my desk, and I just bring in a Aldi has bomb Greek yogurt for whatever mm. reason. Their mixed berry Greek yogurt is amazing. I'm addicted to it. Really? Yep. But I'll pop in some uh, cinnamon oats. <laughs> Into the mix, Barry. Come on. I'm fucking so, chefing it up. Can you do that with your teeth? Nah, negative. I don't think so because I think that involves like chewing. Cooked. Yeah. Mm. They, he, how... they, he was basically like, you're not going to be able to chew. 
for a week. So you really got to have, you got to really overcook the oatmeal then, eh? Mm-hmm. So what if we did this? What if we did this? What if we did fuck, marry, kill, yogurt, oatmeal, smoothie? Mm, I'm going smoothie matrimony. They call that. Yeah. And then I'd probably, I'd probably go mm, fuck yogurt, kill oatmeal. I'm not a big oatmeal guy, to be honest with you. I I can't do a uh, part of it for me too. Is that the yogurt like is cold, and I'd rather have I'd rather be married to a hot meal. You know, I don't know why, like that. but that's kind of what's going on in my head. Like, and I'm just picturing a brown sugar. Plus well, apple cinnamon no, mix, double oatmeal. No, well, why don't you do like a soup then? Because that's actually like a, a a dinner item of some sort. All right, we'll go fuck, Mary, kill, yogurt, <laughs> smoothie, and soup of your choice. <laughs> the soup du jour. Soup du jour. <laughs> that sounds good. I'll have that. I mean, I would probably go soup, smoothie, yogurt, you know? <laughs> You're banging the soup? No, I'm, whatever the best is. So marry in the soup and then fu- fucking. <laughs> it's not the best. It's just, would you rather have this for the rest of your life or fuck it once? Is basically what it is. That's oh, how I You can only fuck it, it once? I it's a one night stand with the smoothie. That's all you get. Oh, I thought so you, you really got to think about it. Times. No, Mike, that's not how this marriage works. <laughs> yeah. You get one, get it out of your system early and often, and then word it. And then you're with oatmeal until the day is dead. Oh, then yeah, I'd, I would probably marry soup still. <laughs> so you're marrying soup. What kind of soup? I mean, if my shit was wired shut, then I'm probably going with like a. <laughs> no, I'm saying like if you had the choice. Oh, dude, that's yeah, no tough. shit. I'm going with a tomato, something, <laughs> <laughs> something I can easily something, get through the wire. I was gonna say like a cream of like a cream of broccoli or a cream of uh, just chicken, broth. But yeah, I like a uh, man. That's a tough one. I would probably, you know, it's an underrated soup. This doesn't answer the question, but an underrated soup is a fucking minestrone. That shit's fire. Never had a minestrone. It's what like is a minestrone? It's like a vegetable soup, kind of. It's really, it's like with noodle. It's really good. It's, a, it's really good. That I don't sounds know. really good. Look it up. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a bad description. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What the <laughs> fuck? It's delicious, bro. Um, <laughs> but I'd probably go with like a, either a French onion or some cream of something. Like a cream of poblano. You ever have a cream of poblano? Never Delicious. even. That's not a soup. No yeah, chance that's a soup. Chuck's Barbecue down the road's got it on tap, dude. You Jack, fucking... look that up and see if cream of poblano is a real thing that people are making. Uh, you want to know what I went with? Could you guess what I went with outside of chicken noodle? Because that's an obvious. I did creamy chicken noodle. Shout out to uh, Campbell's. <laughs> creamy chicken noodle? That. So it's just cream of chicken with. It is real. It's very green. Yeah. Yeah. The one that I eat is not, the one that I get is not that green. It has a little bit of a hue, but it's more of like an orangey than it is a. You're just slurping a bowl of salsa verde. That's what it looks like. Yeah. He's probably looking at a a photo of some fucking vegan beta cuck, but um, (laughs) I'm talking, (laughs) I'm talking fucking Chuck's barbecue. But. Creamy chicken noodle. Is that even a thing? What is it? Just cream of chicken with noodles in it? I think so. It was a great idea by Campbell's. I'm pretty sure they came up with it. What do you think my other one was? Not a wild guess. (laughs) No. (laughs) Only you're eating that in the minestrone. Dude, the minestrone is good. What? I don't know the wild guess. What's the next one? Fucking Uh, tomato? It is... A soup you might find on the East Coast of America. Oh, clam chowdy. Some sort of that. New England Maybe. clam chowdy. Don't knock it till you try it. Yeah. I'm not I've never clam tried clam it, but chowder. I want to knock it so bad. Don't, that shit sounds awful. I know. Chowder. I know. Sounds fucking gross. It's the whoever named it. 
I'm sure that guy like didn't name anything after that. I'm sure that was the last time they were like, all right, you can go ahead and name this, but this is the last one you're getting. Jack, look this up, but I'm pretty sure chowder is a word because there's like a certain thing. It's like seafood. Like I'm pretty sure chowder is specific. Like you don't have like a chicken chowder. It's like <laughs> like when they're throwing the the chum to the fish, they call it the chow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, they call it the chum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure chowder only, like, all chowders have seafood in it or something along those lines. Chowder in North American cuisine, hearty soup, usually containing fish or shellfish, especially clams. I'll Look be at Michael, hard. not the shellfish guy, but knows the facts, yeah. knows what he can How's and that? can't eat. It's incredible. What about a? Have you ever had a lobster bisque? I've never had one because I can't. Because I'm a fucking child. I've never had one either, but everybody kind of like preaches lobster bisque a little bit. It feels Dude. like. I went to the steakhouse one time before the. Uh, we went. Me and my cousin and his buddies saw like Anthony Jeselnik uh, do stand up, and they they're like all forty five, fifty. So like this is like their night out. It was like a Thursday, and they're like, Ugh, "We're just go to fucking." Car- I can't think of the fucking steakhouse's name. But it's like a Cheney steakhouse, expensive. And the soup of the day was this lobster bisque, and they all got it. And I'm just staring at them like, God, it looks so fucking good, man. <laughs> Couldn't eat any of it. I was pissed. And it looked bomb. Oh, it looked and smelled so nice, dude. Just velvety fucking sex. Ugh. It's kind of got that, uh, I don't know if the, the one that you saw had this, but I feel like it kind of has that like uh, vodka sauce look to it for whatever reason. Yeah. Yes, you know the, this. Yes, yeah, and I I love a vodka sauce. Oh, who doesn't? And they're do they're putting vodka sauce on everything now. I've been they seeing really, it left really and are. right on fucking sandwiches. They're doing the vodka sauce parm. Really? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it in person. You just been, but it's been it all over the TikTok and the Instagram. Yeah, I love that. That sounds phenomenal. I, ooh, I yeah. something about a <clears throat> something about like a cream sauce just really does it for me. Oh, me too. Fuck me up. Because t- <clears throat> tell me, c- correct me if I'm wrong, or tell me if I'm crazy, if this is a hot take or a bad take. Probably a bad take. I know a couple people that listen are going to say this is a horrible take, but I'm kind of out on normal marinara, dude. Like, I'm out on it. Like, I don't. Really? I, okay, unless it's just straight up like spaghetti. I don't need, I don't want like mastacholi. I don't want ravioli with it. I don't, if it's not spaghetti and fucking meatball, I don't really want it. To be honest, so you're Maybe not. So you have you have no inch. I was just gonna say you have no interest in chicken parm, chicken parm and spaghetti. And the thing is, too, when you get a plate of chicken parm, it's on top of spaghetti. So would you ever get, uh, <clears throat> like meatball sub marinara? Yes. Okay. So spaghetti and meatballs, right? <laughs> spaghetti yeah. and meatballs. Those are the things. So you know, and a chicken parm. But like, I don't want other new. This is what I'm trying to say. I don't want other pastas. With just red marinara sauce, or you know, however you want to call it, the gravy, the this, the that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So you're basically <clears throat> just like, get the fuck out of here with your cap- capriati or whatever the fuck that that curly one is, and ravioli. The, the, the cavatappi. Cavatappi. Yeah, That's the one. Yeah, I don't. I don't want like my. I don't. I don't need to go and get a dish that is some kind of disco pasta and they just put normal ass fucking meat sauce on the top of it like i want that on my spaghetti and if i'm going with like a different type of noodle i don't want a vodka sauce and oils like oil based just fucking aglio e olio which is just garlic and oil yep that's my favorite thing on the planet you know what i mean I are know. you are you putting the oil on sandwiches every time me no but i do get them when i yeah when i go to a sandwich joint that offers it i do if somebody's Even like, like oil Subway. And, and vinegar, is that what they put yeah. on? They put vinegar on it, like red yeah. wine vinegar or something, or yeah. rice wine. I, yeah, I go to the, the last thing I say at Subway, which Subway's the least bougie place to do is like, all right, let me get the salt, pepper, oregano, oil, and vinegar. Bang, 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 bang. Mm. And that's how you wrap up my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's it that's the that, that's the 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 closing line for the thing yeah and just like that the 2003 nfl draft comes <laughs> to the conclusion for real uh you know it's something that fucked me up the other day and i kind of wanted to ask you guys about it yeah 
or no. Have you been to like a CVS or Aldi has these where they have like the um they have the video like over the self checkout? Oh my god, the worst. <laughs> oh, hold, hold on. Over the hold on. Over the self checkout. Yeah. Oh, we're talking two different things. Let, like, I'll get into whatever the fuck I was thinking. What are you talking about? I'm talking about like you're staring at the screen to like do the transaction and above it yeah. is a video. Like a view. It's your face. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that either. No, like I just don't care for it. And you know what the worst part about it is? Is that you just look like a criminal in those. Like everybody looks like a criminal in those. Oh, yeah, 100%. I agree. The, I don't understand like what I – you would think that they would be – you never see the movie uh, with, with Dane Cook and fucking Dax Shepard where they're fucking – Employee of the Month. Employee of the Month. <laughs> it's you think a great it would movie. Be, Who hasn't seen <laughs> it? Great, great film. You'd think you'd be filming your fucking hands though. You think you'd be mm. filming where you're scanning everything, not where you're fucking my stupid ass mug from this weird yep. like fish lens fucking angle. I could be winking at you the whole time and just stealing shit. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. I don't. I don't really understand the angle. Like I don't. I guess you could probably see some of that, but I don't like it either. I think it's invas- invasive and. You know what's not great too is that it flips you mirror image. Yeah. And you, you always like, you're like, damn, dude, like the eye looks so fucking ugly when I'm flipped. And then in your head, you're like, well, wait a minute. Like once it's flipped back, it's still the same shit. <laughs> but you can't think about that. You just got to be like the, the flip version of me sucks. And the regular version's a good looking guy. You think that has anything to do with the way that you see, like where like your left eye, when you're looking in the mirror, like you, your left eye usually sees this side of you and your right eye sees this side of you when they come together. When it's yep. flipped, you're like, holy shit, my good eye seeing the bad side of me now. <laughs> yep, don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't want to see it. it. That's funny. Dude, and they, you know what fucks me up the worst about it, though, is that they always, uh, like, whenever I see myself in that reverse image, my hat always looks like it's, like, a little bit Crooked, off. <laughs> yeah, dude, bro, every yes, time. Every time, bro. Every time. That's so funny you say that because that is, like, the first thing I think about. I'm always like, why do I look like CC Sabathia on the fucking <laughs> camera right now, dude? Immediately, <laughs> CC. Every, every one of those cameras turns you into CC Sabathia. I'm telling you, bro. It's ridiculous. That's you just so got a do-rag and an Indian's jersey on the second you <laughs> <laughs> Look at no seriously <laughs> though bro you know what i thought you were t- gonna say though is have you ever been to, like a walgreens where you go to like the fridge aisle or like the the fridge uh like the, like the drinks and shit that are in the fridge yeah the freezers <clears throat> and instead of you seeing through the glass to see what the fuck is uh, is there they have a screen with what is behind it have you seen this no Oh That's my crazy. god, bro! They but can't afford transparent glass, dude. It's a it's a giant screen. It's way more expensive than the transparent glass. It's a fucking screen. That's the insane. The door is thick as fuck instead now. But you know what's the worst part about it, Bob? <clears throat> when you're looking at the screen, that fridge is fucking packed. When you open that door, scoured, empty. There's three fucking things in there, and you're like, dude, if you're at least gonna have the screen up. <laughs> Take no the way. photo off if there's nothing stocked. I swear to you. Any Walgreens. Walgreens has them everywhere. I don't know if you guys have Walgreens around you guys that yeah, much. Yeah, we got a ton of Walgreens. Walgreens, at least my Walgreens, is all of them. And they're the worst, dude. That's insane yeah. that they'll <clears throat> just leave the screen up with the... <clears throat> that should be the sole function of that screen, is to tell yes. you when shit's out. Yeah, literally. I mean, that there's exactly. And we don't even need that. That's like mean to say like before you wouldn't have known. You'd have been like, oh, I'm looking for Grape Fanta. They don't got it. They might never have yeah. had it. Now they're telling yeah. you we had it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're too late. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's more rude than just let like just not having it. That's so true. I've never <laughs> thought of it like that. It makes me even more angry thinking about it. Like that's <laughs> fucked it, up. Yeah, it's so stupid, man. Uh, so fucking stupid. <laughs> and it makes me... It, it's just because it's every time you open it. You're, you, They never have what you want. You're like, motherfucker, dude. What? They, this guy. is blowing my mind that they paid for screens for the doors. I thought... Th- they probably thought it was this, like, awesome marketing tactic. Like, oh, look at where we're the future. It's like, dude, no. It's just bad. It's just bad all around. Jack, have you seen any of these? 
No, I haven't. I have oh, not dude, seen any. See. I, it's so bad, dude. It's so bad. It just um, feels like way over utilization of technology. Yeah, and, overhandling. Yeah. And it's like, you know, <laughs> like, the fucking frogs are trans and they've got the screens on the. No, yeah. <laughs> but, dude, speaking of one last thing on convenience, one last thing on the convenience, Um, you, these like bigger, like nicer gas stations and truck stops and shit now. Um, you guys been seeing this shit that they have self checkout there? No, I haven't oh, seen it at a rest stop, bro. I the last couple times I've been seeing it. I've been to like two or three of them now, and I'm like, what are we doing? Like, On the way home from Kentucky, you were seeing this. Yeah, I saw this too. I was going golfing a couple weekends ago too, and I there was a, in this in Bowling Brook, which is a little not bougier, but I guess a little more a little nicer neighborhood. Uh, and they had they had it there too in a speedway. And I was like, what the I, fuck is going on? I would argue Isn't that would, somebody. Sorry, go, Bob. I would argue that would be the best thing to happen to gas stations. No, it's not. I feel like that's the person that's there. That's their only job that's, is that's to be I mean. checkout. I'm saying you could eliminate people completely. Oh, yeah. they do that in Japan. There's like you know self-serving what? convenience stores. And they you just know what I they said, do it. Though? They pay. do it in stadiums. Dude. Yeah. But, yeah. Or so, field. They scan all your shit, though. You don't scan your own shit. You put it on the thing, and it scans it for you. And the, well, at least at, at Wrigley, they do. Mm. Uh, like, you put it on, like, a little platform, and it scans it, and it's like, oh, you have this, that, and that. Yeah. But I literally I literally said out loud to my cousin or whoever the fuck I was. I think it was my cousin I was driving up with. And uh, the, the, the lady working right there, I was just like, dude. <clears throat> if this shit keeps happening, I'm just gonna start stealing shit right in front of these people. They ain't gonna do a goddamn thing about it. <laughs> like, what are we doing here, dude? Like, what are we talking about? I'm not such shoving shit in my pockets and leaving. I don't even have to interact with you, and I'm never gonna be back at this fucking uh, Lexington or since wherever the fuck I was gas station. I'm just gonna start robbing these motherfuckers. You're gonna force <clears throat> Klepto Mike to return, and Mike took so yeah. long to get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, dude. I'll force I will, his hand. I'll bring his ass back, bro. I, I will steal if called upon. <laughs> if they dude. want me to. That is absurd. I mean, they. It, but I would. I just think, like, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't gas stations have self checkout? It's for minor transactions, and that's all that a gas station is. It's fucking yeah. your speedy freeze and. You're nerd gobstoppers, and you're fucking out of there. Yeah, but you also get the worst company in a fucking... I mean, if you want to get robbed, put the self-checkout in. That's all I got to say. Like, I already think about stealing when I'm not fucking self-checking out, but I yeah. don't because there's someone watching me. You put no one in front of me, and I'm just going to be like, all right, peanut M&M's on the fucking house. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just, I don't... I, don't I, think, I think that's like... Mike's got damn. two jalapeno tornadoes <laughs> hanging out of his <laughs> But like also too like gas station jobs like and i don't like i don't want to like make it seem like poor people like there's a lot of people that work at gas stations do that like that's like their career kind of like i like i feel like every gas station you have your like lifer there where you're like oh yeah what's up susan like how's the fucking you know what i mean like yeah i don't know jack looked into that career you can ask him directly about it i did look into that career um, I was not a lifer though. I was a summer. But that's I think even how Mike was describing it, you already knew. You were already in with the regulars, like Yeah. You kind of had the lifestyle going for a sec. There was one chick that I worked with um who had been at like four or five different gas stations in her career. That's she impressive. Like about. I know. So she was a lifer who just stayed in the industry, loved it so much, I'm sure. What do you it's think, like, what do you think, like, the one to work at would be? 7-Eleven, 100%. You think? 7-Eleven without, anywhere without gas pumps. That's the one that you worked oh. in, right? Was it 7-Eleven, no gas yeah, but that's a That's a convenience store, and I know that's what all gas stations are, but I, I also think if you were to pick, like, an actual gas station, you'd pick a fucking TA over the road. We don't have those here. Are those the you orange ones? No, they're the big no, ones. They blue fucking, and red. Yeah, Travel Centers of America. You guys have to have a TA in, in Michigan somewhere. The only TA that I know of is all the way down Bay Road past SVSU. 
on the left hand side. Yeah, that's, that's a TA. Almost to that road that takes you to Delta. I didn't know that. Is on the corner. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. that okay. Yeah, that's why I'm saying because you get the only people you really get in those are people that are traveling over the road, and people that are truck drivers which are also traveling over the road. So it's like you're not so you're, dealing with the everyday hoopla bullshit. You know what this, I mean? The, yeah, the city scum is what you're saying. Yeah, you're, you're, not, you yeah, you're not dealing with the fucking homeless guy that comes in every morning and, and asks for change or, you know, asks yeah. for the fucking donut that was left over from last night. Yeah, and takes Dude, a my shit in aisle two. My 7-Eleven never got robbed. Like, never even, nobody really attempted. We had one employee take, like, 500 bucks from us. Not great, but... Inside um, job still counts. Yeah, inside job still counts. But <laughs> the Seven Eleven down the road from us, like just inside the city, used to get robbed like three or four times a week. They what? Wipe the cash register. Yeah, but it's kind of stupid because we drop all of our cash. Like, there's never more than like fifty bucks in the register. Yeah. So you can uh, rob us, but like you can't unless you're gonna come unbolt the safe from the ground that's on like behind the <laughs> counter and like walk away with that. <laughs> you're not. You're not gonna get a big lick off us by any means. Gotcha. You know, Unless it's an inside job. Yeah, the inside. You guys got one. Per, you guys got one between you and Toledo. There's the nearest TAs to you guys. <laughs> right. It's in Monroe. I'm probably gonna this hit the oh, Monroe. It's in Monroe. I'm actually in Monroe a decent amount. Really? Yeah, for work. You mm. know what? That, have you ever seen Zach and Miriam make a porno? Of course. Obviously, and Justin Long is the it's the best part of that fucking. He's like, listen up, men rovers. I just want to let everybody know that me and Bobby, whatever his name, are flaming whatever. And he's like, we're gay. <laughs> I love to suck his fat cock. Like, like, oh, like, yeah. uh, it's one of the funniest parts of that whole movie. Like, do you Long guys have any? Movie, um, do you guys have any suggestions for things to do on this roadie, Michael? You spend a absurd amount of time on the road what do you do to pass the time <laughs> are you driving <laughs> you probably should pay attention to the road yeah well we're splitting her ten and oh, I, mean, yeah. I mean things oh, is a well, things of the team yeah. to just kind of you know i mean i'm a big talker i don't shut the fuck up so um i mean bob can attest to this like you know if we're not like watching like trivia which even that like I, we sit there and bullshit or you know most of the time so um that long of it's one, actually though? not a bad idea there though that you just squeaked in we could run through because kyle and i do not watch the daily dozen ever we could yeah. low-key run through like a hundred fucking episodes of that <clears throat> that's what i'm saying they're what 30, the 30 to 45 minutes and then it's like yeah the thing about the that's a that those that are dangerous is that you want to watch the video because you want to like see the celebrity mashups just you got to be careful you, know? you do I have it up. oh you could definitely and yeah and when you're driving you don't got to completely uh Pay attention you, to the road. You, well, you don't ever have to li- really like lock into the video. I'm saying, no. Like, you just yeah. need a glance every once in a while. Like, yeah, there's there's a few categories. There's the mashup. There's like the brand. There's, exactly. Yeah, there's not many. Um, but yeah, th- that's a that's always a good one that Bob put me on. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of try to just I try to break up my music and or podcast to into like, all right. <clears throat> what are we going to listen to when the beginning of the ride has got to be something like, Hey, unless you're leaving at the fucking ass crack of dawn and you just want to kind of chill for like, maybe try on something like low roar, like, uh, okay, let's wake up. <laughs> but if, yeah, you're, right, if right. you're leaving at like a normal time, first 20 songs have to, or, you know, 10 songs have to be like hitters. Like you got to get in the mood. Like, Hey, I'm on this road for a while. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, it's Damn, like, you're starting right. it off with hitters. I think I'm, I'm gonna do the same. I think I think getting a high morale, a boosted yeah. morale. What would right be a hitter beginning? that you'd put okay. on in the first ten? Not all of not the necessarily. Lights, Kanye West. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, all right. See, this yeah. is what I'm. This is what I'm thinking. Okay, so that's <laughs> the direction. Yeah, like I, I know, it doesn't have to be like certified, but like something that gets you pumped the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like something. Yeah. Like, all right. Cool. You're making up these rankings. Nobody else is holding yeah, you to these. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And then for a longer ride, I like to, you know, after like an hour or two, I'm like, all right, dude, like I'm sick of pumping myself up. I don't want to listen to like sad music. That's when I'll toss on like a pod. Usually I go comedy. Um, I'll do like Theo's podcast or like something along those lines. Laugh for an hour and a half. 
And then I try to find like a, a simple album after that. It's like uh, either like, I don't know, like a Mumford and Sons or something like along that type of music where it's the like, all right, ears. yeah, something just <laughs> chill vibes. And then when you get back to that, like fifth, six hour, that's when you reset and go up back on the fucking high vibes. You know what I yep. mean? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Dude, I think, I think a lot of this trip is fun, but between Toledo and Columbus is a struggle. Driving through Ohio the long way is <laughs> maybe the worst section of any road trip known to man. I mean, there's just nothing. It's insane and then, that, that place is still there altogether. I, I can't <laughs> believe another state hasn't just conquered it because what the yep. fuck's going on? Indiana, I, I Indiana has no balls. Indiana. That's why. <laughs> That's what's <laughs> fucking Indiana's got nothing to them. That's why they're down there you just know. fucking hanging out. Um, but after that though, when you're like closer to Charleston, you're getting into the mountains and then Charleston is just the most hilarious city you've ever seen in your whole fucking life. So you get to like, look around, go over some very sketchy bridges. So there's like shit to do. And the noise is just background noise, but there's some parts of the trip where it's like, dude, we need to do something or I'm going to lose my marbles. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're good with Mike's strategy and yeah. And just once you get to a point, you throw on some trivia and you can rip off a bunch of those and you guys will be in business. And I do think finding a, a restaurant and or like place to eat that like you've never been to, like you're not, don't hit Don's dude. Like you're an adult. You know what I mean? Dude, you're not that does Don's break the trip time. up. Yeah. But I'm saying like, don't hit a Don's like you don't have to do something that's super long and drawn out, but like something that's quick, but Hey, you know, I've never been to this place. Obviously like, let me look up the reviews on it. All right. We break the yeah break this thing in half by going there. I think that always helps too. Um, the only problem there is that McDonald's. we're leaving at seven p.m. and we're gonna get to Winston Salem at around six a.m. So we're driving straight through the fucking night. So we're gonna have to load oh. up on food a little bit. Yeah, as I say, snacks, dude. Fucking all day snacks. Did I send you guys the picture of the snacks I got, Bob? You saw it. Oh yes. But you're going to buy more snacks, though, on the road, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bob's like, it's not enough snacks. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, it's not. There was There's some key components missing. So what are you going to gather for yourself? Because I think this should be, we'll close it out with your, uh, your gas station meal. Right now I have a big old bag of beef sticks mm. to be shared between Kyle and I. That's his fucking, like, a... That's his five guys death row meal, Bob. The Keplingers love Just a fucking a... meat stick more than anybody I've ever met in my life. Both of them. Yeah. Throw them a Slim Jim. They're they'll, good. they'll gobble a meat stick quicker than anybody <laughs> at the local Speedway. Or your TNA. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, but I have those. I have those chocolate dipped granola bars, which are fantastic. Those are great. What? Uh, did you get the variety pack of those? I hope so, but I don't know. Ooh. You just got like normal ass like chili bars that are dipped in chocolate, or you got like a yeah. like a like a bougie brand. Well, hopefully, no, 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 normal oh. chewy. Hopefully, yes. you got peanut butter in there. That'd be nice. Yeah, Ooh, that'd you be went full nice. chocolate chip. You'd be in a world of hurt. Dude, you'd be in a world of hurt. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it, but you're right. You'd be in a world of hurt. All chocolate chip. Which, um, but then good, I got some but, waters. Yeah. I got three big waters with the squirt tops. I think is a good move. And then a shit ton of Red Bulls. But I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do these Red Bulls. I don't remember what I did last time, but I can't have too much caffeine or I'll like not be able to drive. So I got to space them out. You're missing chips, right? I am going to have to grab some chips. The problem is fucking Meyer's selection of like gas station chippage is terrible. It's awful. And I didn't want a big old bag of chips because I'm not going to eat all that. Are Funyuns in play here? <laughs> Funyuns could be in play. I think Funyuns are the only big chip, big bag of chips that I could eat all of. There you go. I think we should stick with you, the Funyuns then. You, you know what I think is a, as a, as a, I think a, I don't know if you're into chewy candies, but I think a chewy candy is always appropriate mm. because they don't, they don't melt. They don't get like, you know, usually there's four different flavors and it's like, all right, 
I, you know, I don't know. I, I like a like a Sour Patch Kids or something like that along the way too. Like that's one of my long term or long you know long distance snacks always. A chewy fruit snack of some sort. Yeah, a, chew, a chewy fruit mm. snack. I think because I, I do like the I do like going granola, but usually when you're at like a fucking gas station, it's hard to get granola like that. You got to get like a fucking. You get some weird off fucking pudding version of the Snickers that's like a granola bar, you know, or like a take five or something. It's like, no, no, a granola bar is a good play, I think. Yeah, so right. You need, to, you need to offset it, though, with some really some sweet, sweet, you know, not chocolate sweet. Some actual sugar. Some actual sugar. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to dial it in. Uh, we've done this twice now. This is trip number three. So <clears throat> why don't you gotta, just start flying? <laughs> Because I don't know what it is. I, I think we enjoy the roadie too much. Even though it sucks so bad on the way home, the trip there is like the highlight of the trip for me. You guys yeah, should have to do it in Kep's white Dodge. <laughs> We're taking Susie's Jeep once again. That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. Kyle and I, do neither still, of us have reliable cars. Do you still have the fucking Beamer? The Benz, yes, the Benz. I do. Oh, the Benz? That's actually, it is reliable. I just don't want to drive it across the country. I thought you were getting rid of that fucking savage. I am, but uh, I got to wait until either car prices get better or my credit goes up a lot because uh, the way it stands right now, if I get rid of that thing, I'm going to be paying a lot more per month than I am now. And I don't like that. <laughs> the way it's no, checking into that. my savings, you know? Yeah, yeah the way it's set up. The way All my right. bank account. But yeah, um, I will be getting rid of her. So if anybody wants to buy old girl, yeah, 23 nice. bands and she's yours. Wow. I, so I do want to introduce a segment because what, 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 what were we doing that one time for a couple? It was like the hard stance of the week or whatever. Yep. So I keep running into things. And I only have two of them on my mind right now that I can think of, but. I think that a topic of conversation every week for us should be, is there a place for it in this society? And uh, the thing that really got me today, and I was thinking I want to really bring it up to you guys and see, is uh, white people, mostly white women with dreadlocks. How do we feel about that? It's tough because I feel like everything that comes along with. No, but no, 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 not physically. Everything that comes along with it, too, though. You know uh, what I'm saying? See, like you're saying, like you're dating a person with dreadlocks. Yeah, exactly. Is this like okay. a rave type of person that we're thinking of? Somebody who I mean, goes to like. You tell me a white girl with dreadlocks, man. and that's all you need to know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I was just like God, burning season tickets. We need a plague. We need a plague. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so you're not into this, is what I'm gathering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, okay. It's like, God damn. All right. I was wondering. I was like, what is the bridge that we're trying to cross here? Oh, Mike hates this. Yeah, I just don't like it. I, I don't. Uh, I don't have any judgment towards it. I think it can That's work fair. if it needed to work. See you, see you living in fucking Michigan. That's why. What does that mean? I'm a hippie. <laughs> you no. know, what the fuck? You just don't get as. <laughs> you just don't get as shitty of people all the time. Oh, <laughs> you know, yeah, there's not we're, as, we're as much burbs depth. out here. Yeah, it's most it's just a bunch of Cathy's driving around here. A lot yep. of them got to get to a Tigers game soon, man. Season starts tomorrow or Thursday. Season starts Thursday against the worst team in baseball. So we should fucking clean them up. Are you going to White Sox Stadium? No, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, the fifth, I think what is I thought I thought oh. you knew that. I thought that's why you were saying that. Oh nope, yeah. didn't know that. Our home opener is yeah next Friday, mm. which is kind of kind of perfect. Is Cubs home opener this week? You know, if I fucking knew that, I'd be a better fan because I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna insane look that you don't know that. Are you going, Bob, Friday? Uh, yes. Uh, I don't think don't I'm worry. going to the game, but but you're gonna go down there. Yeah, Dude, there's a bunch of people going during the day. A couple of my work buddies are taking it off, so I might go down there with them and see what's up. Let's run it. Yeah. See, I knew that our home opener is Monday, dude. I knew that it wasn't up to Thursday. Come on. 
Does that bother Cubs fans that they don't put you guys on a prime day? Or does it not even matter? Why are we on a prime day and not them? Because we're the, the fucking D-Town Tigers, dog. No, this league is built around so. us. We also, you also got to realize that we play one o'clock games every goddamn day. So it's right. like, it's there's never a prime day. Because one o'clock on fucking Tuesday, one o'clock on Friday, not the, there's not much different, to be honest. Yeah, with but Cubs home opener should be a Friday or a Saturday, I think. Yeah, I don't disagree, but I mean, that's everybody. It's can't can't be a perfect world every year you know yeah do you think the players prefer that one o'clock slot they gotta right i would assume well if you're yeah i don't know it depends on where you're traveling from you know if you got a game on on sunday and then you have to because sunday night say you got the sunday night game on fucking sunday and you gotta travel go play a one o'clock game on monday i feel like that kind of suck yeah you know, but other than that, I mean, how often there's only one Sunday night game a week. So how often are you doing that? Right. True. So I doubt very often. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, just an unreal uh, way for the boys to close it out. Yep. yep. Episode 109. <clears throat> um, thank you for the fuck, Mary kill yogurt, oatmeal, applesauce. Feel like that Jack. was uh, that really put me in a good place today because I really didn't Jack. know which way to go tomorrow. Well, uh, I got one thing to say because hmm. I feel like it might be appropriate nowadays. Uh, Jack, drive safe, don't rape, and have a safe trip. <laughs> yep, yes, sir. <laughs> Thank else. you. All important. Um, get some funyuns. Send us a picture. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, yeah. You guys got to see this course we're playing Saturday. Yeah. Fuck off. How about yeah, fuck send, off, bud? Send us some nudes of the whole thing. Yeah, well, I will be. Um, all right. And yeah, I'm gonna be incapacitated next week and a half. But are we recording next week? Yeah, I'll see everybody next Tuesday when I'm all fucked up. I'll record. How about that? I'm, <laughs> I'll be all it'll be all opioids. It'll be dope. No, I'm saying are we rec- like are we gonna do it though? That's what I'm saying. To you. That? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm st- <laughs> All right. My bad. I'll shut the fuck up. Good night. All right. Episode 109. It's a wrap. Peace.